Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Grown Clip Bonsai for Seniors. Today is Friday, January 7th of 2022. Right now, it's 13 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 11 degrees Celsius. The wind chill is zero Fahrenheit or minus 18 degrees Celsius, so it's, it's cold out there. <laughs> Today, we're just going to do a little geranium update and some pruning on it so you can see how they're doing. And let me bring everything here so you can see what's going on. Now, this one here... I don't know if you can see it, I'll turn it around. It's growing pretty good in the, in the basement, but as you can see with the low light, the leaves are a pale yellow, but that's expected with the geraniums because this one's further away from the window. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna dip and clip. We're gonna clip some of this old stuff off so we can see what we got here. There we go. I don't know if you can see this, but I think I'll keep this as my front. But this this is like an eye poker branch, so we're going to take that one out. Just like that. And we're going to try to root it. And then you can see how this branch is coming up. But right now they're going to be about the same thickness, so let's just cut all this dead stuff off. I don't want to do too much with it because it's still winter time. In the spring, we can do a little bit more vigorous pruning on it. But I don't know about you, but when you prune these things, they got a nice smell to them. Really nice smell. So I'm, what I'm doing is just cutting this back dead leaf off. You can see it's starting to turn brown. But it's pale yellow, but what are you going to do? We'll snip off this dead part right here. Now, I don't fertilize my geraniums. In the winter time, I don't fertilize nothing in in the plant where I got my plants because I want them to stay dormant for the winter time. Now you're gonna say, Tom, what are you doing there? I got the Asus, whatever was left over in the bottle was like stuck to the bottom and the side, so I just put some aged water in there, shook it up, and I'm putting it around the root system to give it a little little burst. Now with this cutting, I'm just gonna cut off the two big leaves leave the one little one on and then all I'm gonna do is just cut below the node right there and we're gonna stick it in some straight vermiculite what I did is I took the powder from the verm uh, Asus whatever I could get out and I put it all under vermiculite here so let's see if it'll help it to root what I do is I poke a hole in there this way here your cutting will go straight into the soil and we'll see how we do with that one let's put this one aside now this one you can see it's got a much darker leaf because this one was closer to the window and look it's going to start to flower so I'm going to leave the flower on there and all we're going to do on this one is just cut off just the dead stuff all you got to do is trim your geraniums. Yes, you could make a bonsai tree out of a geranium. You just got to be patient and don't give up. If you lose one, hey, I lost a lot of geraniums, but so far this year, everything is good. And I'm taking off the bottom because we don't want no lower branches down there. Just like that. And then we got a stub. I don't know if you can see it. Right about here, so I'm just going to take that off. Take some of the yellowing flowers off. And just do a little prune up and let them rest for the, for the winter time. But they grow. There we go. Cut it close. So I'm going to let it flower. Have, some, have something different for the winter time. Wants the flower, let it flower. Now here is my forest. I don't know if you can see it. And you can see how pale the leaves are because this is also further away from the window. So it's like maybe uh, five feet away. So you can see the difference in your leaves, in your leaves when, you're, uh, when you're growing them in the basement. 
and it got low light but look even with the low light let me take it out of the container here so you can see it I use them to, to catch the water but even with the low light it's starting to flower I'm, it looks like red flowers so what I'm gonna do dip and clip now these these I just stuck just for the heck of it into the forest into the bare spots and look they're starting to grow not bad so let's just cut some of the dead stuff off of it being careful not to cut the stem this one's good I'm not gonna cut anything there I'm gonna let me come this way more I gotta but you can make your own forest out of a geranium that's simple go at the end of the year when they're getting rid of geraniums for a quarter or you go to the junk section at Lowe's where the plants are doing bad and you can find a lot of geraniums there for 50 cents and a quarter but just cut off the dead stuff and that's about it just trim up your forest the best you can Now we're not going to do a lot of heavy pruning on this because I want these to rest for the winter. I don't want to initiate any new growth. And just cut off the dead stuff. Don't be afraid. Here's one that, there's a piece right here that flowered. So that's off. And just cutting off all these dead branches. That's all you got to do. And you clean up your forest, your forest. And see how easy it is? You can make an, a nice little force out of a geranium and it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. So there we go. Our little forest is pruned. Get some more of this dead stuff off right there. There we go. And that's it. Just like that. There's some more dead stuff here. I hope you can see it just like that cut it off there's a dying stem right there and uh, this is just a dead leaf on the branch so let me see if I can get that out there we go and there's the stem right connected to there there we go so see it's easy to make a bonsai tree. Look at the trunks on it. Look at this one. The trunk's starting to grow on it. Here's a dead part right here, so I'm going to just snip it there. And you can thicken up these trunks real good. This is almost like a triple trunk, but what the heck. This I could probably cut off later, but right now it's... I don't want to do it right now. Let it grow. Let it get some vigor. Now this is the scented geranium and you can see the leaves are darker because it's right closest to the window and here I wanted to show you the flowers but they fell off. Nice purple flower on the scented geranium. So all I'm going to do on this is cut off the dead leaves just like this. That's all you got to do is just touch it up. Oh, wrong scissors, Tom. Well, that's what you get when you go live. <laughs> well, not live on YouTube, but when I film it, there's no way of edit, editing nothing that I do. What you see is what I do, and that's what you get. <laughs> and if I really make a blunder, I sh shut off the video, delete it, and start all over again. So, sometimes they say practice makes perfect. Now this needs a good pruning, but this is going to be all done in the spring when it's going to start to push forth a lot of growth. But it is starting to grow spindly. So what I'm going to do, since we got one stuck already, let me get this dead one off right here. Let's see if there's another dead one here, another one here. 
That's all you got to do is be patient. Take your time. I'm going to just cut it here. Leave some on there. Leave some of this here. There we go. Now we're developing a nice little, nice little side trunk this way, so that'll be good. I'm just going to cut this, this stub off down here. Let me get this a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. There's a stub right here. So all I'm going to do is cut that just like that. That's a hard stub. Let's see if these will do it. There we go. Shot all over the place like a ping pong ball. So what I'm going to do, we got most of the stuff cut. So this is growing a little bit spindly this way. And I've got a dead piece there, so I'm going to cut this back to here. And what I'm going to do is just above here, just above the node, because it'll grow out this way towards the back, which is good. I don't want to cut it above here because it'll grow in. So what I'm going to do is just cut right above the node there. And then I'm going to take and cut right here. Cut this off. And we're just going to stick it and see if we get anything. Doesn't hurt to try. I know it's the dead of winter. Cold like you wouldn't believe, but eh, what are you going to do? Okay, now this one is growing tall. Now if this is my front, if I cut it here, it'll come out this way and get develop an eye poker branch. But since this is growing, I have to get this so it doesn't grow way spindly. So what I'm going to do with this is take the bottom leaf off right here. Here's a node right there. I don't know. There's the node. Just give it that a 45. I got a branch coming out this way so I can take this off. And then I can cut it right about here. Whoop. Down, the, down on the ground it goes. <laughs> so here it is. Oh man, I gotta get used to where this thing is picking up the 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 the, the pictures. So I'm just gonna cut that growth tip off, and all I'm gonna do is take and stick it into the vermiculite as far as down as I can get it. See what we can get with the Asus in its liquid form. And then this piece here, I'm going to cut this off. Wrong scissors, Tom. I'll dip it. I'm just going to cut it at a 45, best we can. Take, take this off here, this off there. I just want that so I got some green to feed it with the low light. Now this is starting to push forth a little bit of growth here. So I'm just going to leave it there and let's see what happens. But you know what? I'm just going to clip these off because this way here I can stick this deeper into the vermiculite and maybe get more roots out of it. So see, scented geraniums work out good. There we go. Let's get it in. Now the main thing is you got to tuck them in. Tuck them in real good. Tuck them in. Put them in the into the soil real good and then I'm, all I'm going to do is take the uh, Asus, shake it up and water it in all around so the beneficial bacteria gets in there and helps it to maybe generate roots. Now over here you can see the soil is all mangled up from the, the night terror that was hanging around before I can get them in. And let's just, I'm not going to do a lot of uh, landscaping to it yet because they're still in a dormant state and I don't want to wake them up out. I need them to sleep. And I'm going to put some Asus in here. Get the roots growing good. And then, you're going to say, Tom, you got a long leggy one here, right? So, I got a branch coming out this way which is okay. It'll fill up a little bit. So all I'm going to do is cut right about 
here if you can see it and we have another cutting so I'm gonna do is take this off take this off and since we're gonna go into the soil deep I'm gonna take these off because then we got two chances of rooting we got a node here and a node here so I got one more spot for it I'll put it right into the ground okay there we are got like a little forest grown of two different species of uh, geraniums if if they root so I'm gonna just take and put some azus in there put some water on my my cuttings of my geraniums just to see if it'll help them out might be too late for the not the geraniums the, the background here those are the point point sietas but okay get all the liquid out I'll rinse this bottle out real good let it dry so when I get some more stuff and it'll be good so that's my little update on geraniums don't be afraid to try them they're not hard and give them some light and they'll reward you with some flowers are you gonna say Tom what's all this white stuff in there that's the diatomaceous earth because the ones in these big trays that were outside I had a I had to put them in the diatomaceous earth because if there was any ants or anything in there, they'd crawl on that and that would get rid of them the, the uh, natural way. So that's all our stuff. Okay, how much time we got on the camera, on the tablet. Okay. So I don't know if, he's, if you remember the... Uh, the crane flower pot I had with no drainage holes in there what I did is I ordered five more mangroves or mangroves trees and this is from another outfit because I couldn't find an outfit I ordered it from on eBay so we're gonna see how they they take they're supposed to come in January 20th or 25th and in that pot we're gonna try to make a, a forest out of them we'll see how we can do that and how we can regulate the pot I was figuring to divide it so you got like water on this side and land on this side just with rock so we'll see how that goes so today's Friday night it's a cold one out there make yourself a nice hot pot of, pot of tea mom dad after the kids go to bed grandma and grandpa if your babysitting put the kids to bed put on some big band music with some good old with good old-fashioned music when music was music take your wife your loved one grandma get grandpa off the chair and sit, push the table and kitchen chairs on the side put on the big band music while the tea is uh, how you say simmering in the pot dance a little bit and then sit back and relax to the big band music when music was music and just enjoy the rest of this cold evening <laughs> for us over here it's cold <laughs> So take care, everybody. Thank you for coming to Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors. And have a good, warm night. And take the chill out of bones with a nice hot cup of tea. Take care, everybody.